What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex, you and you're watching the Rage and Rona Review. I got a movie review for you guys. Today is December 31st, 2020. It's the last day of the year of this crazy year. And I'm very, very behind in reviewing movies. And it's simply because I had better things to do. <laughs> Honest truth. I just uh, been busy and didn't really think about... Um, really putting out any movie reviews or doing any videos uh, for that matter uh, on both channels. But you know what? I got to do it. It's the end of the year. I got to put out my 2020 best films, top 10 films. So let's just review these films. This film I'm going to start off with is Borat 2. It's got um, two other names. Uh, so Borat 2, Borat subsequent movie film and also this other one with a really really long name i'm not going to get into that uh but this one came out in on october let's see october 23rd 2020 and i can't even remember when the first one re was released maybe 2007 2008 i can't remember in any case it's been a long time since we've seen borat on on the big screen actually this time it wasn't even a big screen it was released on amazon prime Super looking forward to this as this one really um, really caught up on current events what's happening or what happened this year and uh, it really touched up on all those subjects now I got to tell you that I I freaking loved the first film I had never seen any Sasha Baron Cohen content before the first film I didn't even know what he like what his shtick was who he who he is and what he represents. I didn't know any of that until I saw the very first Borat film and it blew my mind at how hilarious it is. And I, when I found out that they were making a second one, I couldn't freaking wait because I just wanted to laugh really hard again. And here comes the second one. And my thoughts are, based on what I can remember, considering this came out in October, is that this film was freaking funny. It was hilarious. It is, oh man, I, I was busting my gut laughing. And this one is a little bit, it's quite different. Now, the big question is, like, which of the two are is a better film, okay? Now, I'll say this. The first one touched up on all kinds of um, uh, controversial or just, um, or rather made fun of America in so many different ways, whether it be politics, religion, um, um, uh, 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 sexual orientation, um, just a douchebaggery, general douchebaggery. Uh, uh, people just caught up in um, uh, celebrity pop culture, things like that, okay? So it caught up on all these things, uh, or rather touched up on all these things, basically making fun of Americans, all right? Now, this one was strictly about politics. It was just about politics 100%. And while I thought it was hilarious, you know, Shasha Baron Cohen, Cohen touched up on all the, all the subjects that would make you laugh and also, um, you know, obviously put out a really strong message out there and revealing how, how silly, uh, uh, you know, American politics are. I felt that I liked the first one more. I think that both of these are really great films, extraordinary films, as a matter of fact, because these are r real situations and you really can't act your way out of this. Well, I guess in Sasha Baron Cohen's case, he can. But in any case, these films are, are, you know, the people that are involved in these films, they are not acting, okay? That's what makes this film so great and so watchable and also makes you feel uncomfortable, especially this one. This new one really makes you feel uncomfortable and I think it really does its job. It achieves what it's trying to make you, uh, it, it achieves what it's trying to do. And that is make you uncomfortable. And also look at how ridiculous everything is that it's poking fun at. It really does a good job with that. And because of that, you laugh. It's funny as hell. And I think that if you love the first one, you should watch this one. I still think the first one is great. But what th was great about this one is that there's some heart in this. There's some real uh, true emotional... Uh, human connection involved somehow I don't know how he was able to achieve that even though he he you know it was right there on the in, in, on the, in the film uh, he managed to pull it off so hats off to Sasha Baron Cohen the director uh, uh, Jason Walliner uh, they really really pulled it off and they made a really successful film I still like the first one more 
but this one still is really, really great. I've watched the first film many, many times. Um, I don't know if I need to really revisit the second one that many more times compared to the first one, simply because it's more about current events. You know, afterwards, after 2020, it won't be as relevant except to just give you some kind of laugh and to look back at how ridiculous everything was. So anyways, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. An eight out of 10, still a really, really great film and highly enjoyable and hilarious, all right? Eight out of 10. Anyways, that's all I gotta say in this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Alex Yu. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.